Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I have the cutest collection from our friends at Doodlebug Designs. This is the Seaside Summer Collection. There's a six by six paper pad. These adore little uh, adhesive dots, which they call sprinkles. Odds and ends, Seaside Summer die cuts, and then all of these little doodle bops, which are adorable little 3D stickers. Together, you guys, I put them together with our little tag in a bag cutting die and made an adorable little vacation scrapbook. So I can't wait to show you what else we came up with, so come back and play with us. All right, before we go any farther, I wanna start with this adorable little easel card made from a five by five card. And before I get into the details about it, I wanted to tell you that we have a giveaway for this card. And the details are at the end of the video and I'll remind you again, but we're going to give this card away. We're gonna select one of the viewers who has liked, commented, and subscribed. Whether you're a new subscriber or you've been a subscriber for years and years, you'll be entered into a little contest. We're gonna choose a winner and then we're gonna let you know by notifying you up where that little notification bell is. So just follow the instructions at the end of the video if you would like to participate. All right, so let's get to this card and what's inside this little paper pad. pad. It's so cute, you guys. There's so many fun, summer fun papers. And what I love too is it's got all these little journaling cutouts in it, which I used in the little tag in a bag book. Lots of cutouts, double-sided, and they just are fantastic and cheerful and beautiful and fun. So we love this one, it's so cute. You get 24 double-sided cardstock pieces, so cute. And then I also used on this the little odds and ends, which you get 116 of these and you get doubles of them, um, but so cute. There's little houses and little beach huts and beach chairs and umbrellas and sailboats and all kinds of sea creatures and sand castles and boats, just, I mean, anything to do with the sea or the ocean or vacationing near the sea or the ocean <laughs> that you would want, so cute. So on this card, we took the five by five card and you score it right down the center, okay, on the front, that's at the two and a half inch mark, and then fold that in half. And then I cut down this adorable little tropical paper just to a little bit smaller. It's like four and seven eighths of an inch square. And also scored that and then glued that right on top of this one. And then you're gonna need a little circle. So we've got, doo -doo -doo -doo, we have got our little 12 circle and scallops cutting die. I use the middle size ones right here and then used a little solid cardstock and a little white cardstock, glued on the little palm tree, foam taped on the little bicycle, and then you guys, we've got this brand new set of Dazzle stickers. Well, that doesn't show up very well on the white. There we go, these are Sending Smiles, and it's just repeated, Sending Smiles, and apparently Paulette said this was a suggestion from one of our viewers, so whoever it was out there, we absolutely listened to your suggestion. I used the gold one right there, very cute, and then once you fold that back, you're, you're wanting to foam tape, I, I, you could glue it, but I foam tape just the bottom half of the circle to the bottom half of the fold because we don't want it sticking up here. And then you need a little bit of foam tape under something to prop it up, right? So that goes right there. And then I took a couple of the cutouts and some more of those little die cuts and put those right there. And yeah, this is the card we're going to be giving away. So definitely check that out at the end of the video. All right, you guys, so this next one, oh, so cute. This one uses these little sea creatures and the little dots. For this one, this is a five by six and a half inch, inch card, and I just took this orange paper and I just took my, my shears and I just cut it into a little wave and then separated them, inked the edges with a little bit of brown ink, and then glued the blue wave paper behind it, and then glued these two pieces on top. And then I got to add these adorable little sprinkle adhesive dots on here. And the cute little sea creatures, you guys, I used the little fish, and I used these two guys right here. And then the cutouts from the book, I inked those as well and add those right there. So this was a really quick and easy one to put together, and it's so cheerful and fun. 
Then we've got a slimline card, which is eight, oops, eight and a half by three and a half inches. This is a great one to use if you have a little bit of scrap paper. So I just took a sheet of the six by six and I just glued it here. And then of course you have some left over. So I took those inches and covered it with a little scrap of this adorable little pattern paper with all the little images on it. Then I foam taped this little die cut and I did trim it down a little bit so it would fit within the envelope. And then we've got our adorable little, oh, I just love this one. You know what, here it is. This one is called Gelat O Flavors. <laughs> That's adorable. And I just put that little cart and look, it's got little sprinkles inside of it. So it's like, sh well, shakes if you shake it hard. This is a little cutout from the book and then I just put the little gelato ice creams right there. So another really quick and easy card. Love it. All right, and then this last one, you guys. This is the little tag in a bag book I showed you in the opening, and it uses our little tag in a bag cutting dies. This is the bag part and the tag. There's this right here, and what I did was is I cut out three of them using pastel cardstock and I just used th three different colors of cardstock and I just mixed up the tags with the bags so they didn't match just for a little fun. Now you can use um, a little cosmic shimmer blue along the edges of this to assemble the bag. Um, we like to use extra sticky tape as well and I'm going to use the extra sticky tape today just because um, I don't have to wait for anything to dry. go. This is just one of our favorite, we're going to attach that right there, our favorite dies because it's so versatile. Okay, right, we're going to seal that down and then I'd like to take my little bone folder, make sure everything is straight there. All right, and then when it comes to the little tags, just remember everything is going to be horizontal this way. So when covering this with paper, I just cut a little rectangle of the paper. You can get two rectangles from each of the six by six pages. I inked the edges with a little Friar Brown ink and then just did three separate pages here, here, and then did my little tags. And then the tags have photos on one side and then you can do photos on the other side or you can do photo and then a journaling, a little journaling block. Journaling and then another photo. And then I just did, you know, three pages. You could do multiple, just use larger size rings, okay? These are one inch rings. Added a little of this fun little polka dot ribbon there on my rings. Um, I used this little sand castle, so cute, and those little adhesive dots right there. I used the extra little pieces from the sandcastle here. I wanted to put lots of little places to journal on there. Here, so cute. Used it some die cuts as well. So yeah, this is really easy to do. Now when you're covering your little tags, you can use either vertical or horizontal photos or portrait or landscape, however you like to say that. And what I did was I just covered this with some of the Cosmic Shimmer glue. And this is just really easy to do. And it gives, instead of just, you know, die cutting the photo, it's really nice to be able to have a sturdy background on it. Now, what I like to do is you can't really see, like, I want to get my image centered on there. So what I did is I just held it up to a window and then you can see the outline of the tag so easily. And then you just take your scissors and you're just gonna cut around that. All right, and then I didn't end up using the little holes in the tags. I just covered those up with paper. But um, if you wanted to, you could punch a hole in there. If these are just journaling tags, you could add a little ribbon to them or you could um, add one of the little adhesive dots over there. So that's, that's all it takes. And then they just put some little paper and a little journaling tag or another photo on the back and you can just slide them into your little tag in a bag. So you guys, we have a great little collection, perfect for your summer,
photo memories, I would really suggest that you check this out. It's so fun, so colorful, and really easy to use. Everything is just coordinated so beautifully. So definitely follow the instructions at the end of the video to have a chance to win this cute little card. Don't forget we have the fantastic money saver. It's on the right hand side. This contest is run through YouTube, so you would need to comment and then check it out with our YouTube channel. Um, we really enjoy uh, giving away our projects. This is new that we're doing a little experiment, so let's just load up that comment section. Thanks so much for joining me today, you guys, and we'll see you next time.